Welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 2. Now the first I'm still here. And I'm still cutting. This yellow tape ain't gonna stop me. Get right up into it. This is not how I imagined my first day. No, yeah, but it is your first day. Got some more bullets for you. 12 and 8. So far, so good. I've missed a few shots. But overall, we're on a good track. Right, L1, I got my knife. Uh, hey, stop that. You call that a knife? This is a knife. I've still explored this area a little bit when I was playing the demo. <gasps> oh, shit. Hey, bud. You doing all right? Oh, shite. Fuck. Damn! You gotta love that shit about Resident Evil these days. <laughs> you know they're doing it right. The hell is this dude hanging by? I swear he falls. Does he fall? I'm not gonna pick up the radio. Oh, he fell. Oh, his head is just... Split rod open. Lovely. Confiscated items and storage. Need a special key? I don't think I ever got into there during the one shot demo. This time things are gonna be different. You know someone's gonna sneak up on me from. as soon as I walk by. I can't board up the freaking window. Yeah, I know. I don't have any boards, so they're gonna break in. Ooh! Critical hit. Headshot. The anticipation of getting past this demo area is killing me. Can't freaking wait till I see some new stuff I haven't already seen before. Record of evidence of events. Sorry, September twenty fifth. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th. Aden Adenidum? Never heard that word. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it to safety behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure if any of us can fix it under our common equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m., Twelve people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. David Ford. It's not looking good. Handgun ammo. Oh, sir, I beat right there. Can definitely use absolutely as much ammo as. That's where I came in, right? I don't know if I like how the door is closed behind us. Police station, one floor map. 
making use of the map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up. That's very good to know. So that's the door. I need that key. Apparently I haven't been in reception. Currently searching. Bathroom. Currently searching. What does currently searching mean? That I haven't found everything in that room? Must be. I went through there on my demo playthrough. But I didn't. Oh, I guess there's a good reason I didn't go through there. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Got to check, check my six at all possible times. Hey, it's not going to work, dude. You ain't got any money. It's not going to work for you. Sorry, bud. Snacks are sold out. It's locked. That guy gets back up. Oh, you get back up. Oh, shit. Why are you still alive? You better be dead as hell now. Can I not pick up those boards for windows? Shit. Is there any working water? Gotta stay hydrated. Safety deposit room. What's this do? Enter locker number. Why are these numbers? One, two, three, two. Do I have to find the numbers? How about one, oh, six. Cool. All right. So let's do one, zero, one. Gorgeous, darling. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see what we scored. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix it right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck it up this badly? Guess I gotta find some spare keys then. Cause, yeah, I want whatever that is. Extra storage space, possibly. Can't forget about that. And some shoddy shells. There's a freaking shotgun in here. But I need the keys to open this thing. Oh! <gasps> When I played the demo, I got a weapon storage key. So this is where it goes. Cool. I got so much freaking pistol ammo now. Oh, God. Who's there? Get the hell out of here. I'm busy. Roll film. I guess I'll keep the underdeveloped film. There's a knife in there. What do you want? I'm busy. Trying to collect stuff. He ain't dead yet. There's no way. Looks like some drugs. Alright. Looks like we gotta go find some keys. And the weapon storage key. If his body's ragged on, is he really dead? He's missing an arm. Where'd your arm go, man? That can't be very nice. Oh shit, there's someone trying to get in over there. West office. 
Where did that sound come from? You're still alive, dude! Stop being alive. Are you serious? There's no- <laughs> you're dead now. You're real dead now. Some gunpowder and shenanigans in here. You're not actually dead. What the? Better be dead now, biatch. Gunpowder. Okay, it's just gunpowder in that locker, not medication. Uses of gunpowder. Make some handgun ammo, shotgun shells. And magnum ammo. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. <gasps> Best be saving it for them mixtures to combine things. Ooh, look at all that handgun ammo. Ba da ba ba ba. You know what I mean. I know you're not dead. I remember you. Shit. You bastard. What the fuck? Damn it. Asshole. You bastard. Don't mess with me. I ain't got time to waste ammo on your ass. There's a safe. So I need to find the safe code. There's so many things. So many backtracking opportunities, and I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Who's there? Stop that. How are you still alive? Get down on the ground. Stop it. Stop that. Better be dead. Operation report. September 28, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place that left from the, its museum days. I brushed your idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies. But I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to find I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. I hope you found something, buddy. We're all hoping. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The keys to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desks. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. But you figured that out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way... It might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Shit. I have no idea. Are you still alive? Heard someone. Let's see what our names are. David Ford. Uh, 
Oh. <gasps> I get it. I totally get it. Let's see. I gotta find this, guys. Let's see. N. E. D. Okay, let's try that. And, oh, it's already on N. Look at that. E. D. Oh, I got it. What do we got here? M. R. Oh, crap. Of course, I gotta find this, guys. M. R. Shit, where's this thing at? There it is. G. M R G. Why is this my desk? Why do I get the fancy one? M. I think it's already on M. R. G. Beautiful. High capacity mag for the Matilda. Can I just do that? Combine it? Oh, yes. Is that it? Oh, I'm so good. 24. I'm oh, getting yeah, a bunch of trophies just popping up. What's through here? Need another special key. Okay. I don't remember where I found the weapon key. The weapon locker key for the shotgun. Hard to tell where I am sometimes. Gotta get used to the map. This way seems appropriate. Yep, I remember this. There's a staircase down here. Yeah, he's gonna break through as soon as I. Green herb. Saving that. Go ahead and board this window up. Boom. Now you can't get in. There's a red herb in here, right? Pretty sure there's a red herb in here. Handgun ammo. I got so much handgun ammo. More gunpowder. Oh, even more ammo, I guess, because I combined it. What's this? Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they're visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, Mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. I hope the audio quality on this video isn't complete shite. Another storage box. I don't think there's any point in using it right now. Let's go ahead and save our progress. And I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. It's short, hopefully sweet. I got a lot of ground to cover. We've barely done anything yet. Lots of exploration. Got to go into the dark room. And I'll see you all next time on an all-new episode of Resident Evil 2.